In this video, we'll talk about searching for parts. Parts are line items that you add to your estimate. Clear Estimates comes preloaded with over 15,000 parts, and it's easier than ever to find what you need. To search for parts, first make sure you're on your Projects page. Here on the Projects page, you'll see your Part Search interface right here. And there's a couple of different ways we can search for parts. We can click into the search bar and search for a search term. We can also click Browse Part Library, which is like opening a catalog of parts. To add in a brand new part, we can click Create Custom Part. Or to add a list of parts from a template, we can click Add Template. In this video, we'll just be focusing on searching with a search term and browsing the part library. So I'm going to click into this search bar here, and I'm going to type in a term. I'm going to type in drywall. Do keep in mind there's suggested parts for you down below as well, so you can always click these search terms if you'd like. But I'm going to press enter and search the part library for drywall parts. Clear Estimates is going to show us all of the parts in Clear Estimates related to the term drywall. Every part in Clear Estimates is broken out by category, so on the far left, you can see the category where that part lives. In the middle, you'll see the part description. And each part comes preloaded with a material cost and a labor cost, in most cases both. You'll see a cost per unit for material, and you'll also see an install time per unit in hours per unit. On the far left, you'll notice the star icon. That means the part has been favorited. Favoriting a part makes it easier to find that part later, and it will pop up first anytime you open a specific category. You'll always see your favorited parts first, and if we scroll down further, we'll see the rest of the results. Now there's a lot of different results here, so if we want to get more specific, we can filter by category. Since everything is broken out by category, this makes it easier to isolate specific types of parts. So we notice this subcontractor drywall budget part is included in 28 wall coverings. So what if we want to see what other drywall parts are included there? No problem. Just click your main category drop down here. It'll say all categories. And this is where you can see all of the different categories we include. So I'm going to find that wall coverings category that's 28. And now my search has been narrowed, so I'm only seeing parts for drywall that relate to drywall for a wall. We could do the same thing for ceilings. If I come down to 29 ceiling coverings, it's going to only show me parts in the ceiling category related to drywall. Changing category is as easy as typing in a term. So if I type in wall, I can easily find wall coverings. Important to keep in mind that under every main category, there are subcategories to help you narrow your search. Here in the middle, you'll see your subcategory dropdown. If I click that, I can see specific options for things like drywall, plaster, repair, ceramic wall tile, and more. So I'm going to isolate parts just for drywall. Using part groups, over on the far right, I can get even more specific. In the case of drywall, I have options for drywall standard, moisture resistant, or fire rated. And this has really narrowed my search down to just a few parts. We can also click Browse Parts up here in the top right to open up the catalog of parts we include. This is the same as if you click Browse Part Library here on the Projects page. Once again, everything is broken out by category, so we can always start with a main category first. We offer everything from project preparation down to demolition, and then further down we'll get into the building portions such as framing, gutters, doors, windows, skylights, decks and porches, and much more. There's a remodeling library first, and further down is a handyman library, typically for smaller scopes of work and repairs. So let's just say we want to add in some wall framing. I'm going to click category 10, wall framing. And then I'm going to use my subcategory dropdown to get more specific. 
So I see options for wood wall framing, sheathing, columns, or knee wall. I'm gonna go ahead and click wood wall framing. And then under my part groups, I have options for two by four, two by six, or two by eight. I'm gonna click two by four. And then down below, we're only seeing relevant results. Once we find a part we need, we can click the part and enter our quantity. We'll discuss that in the next video.